What's going on boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. We are here on iRacing for what was a daily race that happened earlier in the week as we were running around Okayama International Circuit. 12 laps, 15 minutes around this racetrack in the Ferrari 488 series. So this is basically a series that was just filled with a GT3 Ferrari 488 and we're gonna see what happens here. So already off the bat, Coming off the final corner, we have a spinning Ferrari that uh, clearly is not going to have a wonderful time on this race. It just gets turned immediately. Didn't even make it to the line. And uh, that is one free position for us. So we gain one free position there. Heading to turn one. Nice and easy. Make sure that we don't make contact with the 19 car ahead of us. He just, he just swam down on us um, tremendously. So uh, just had nowhere to go. Almost made contact with him. But... Off of the corner, we actually did make a little bit of contact with his left front. You can see right here on the replay, we just get a bit loose. Uh, things get a little bit tight right there between me and him. Uh, luckily, there was a puff of smoke, a little bit of contact, but it wasn't nothing too major as we decided to cover ourselves here heading into the hairpin. So immediately dived in into the inside because he was taking a little peek um, behind us. And I just wanted to cover the spot, and uh, it still was not over here, so he was still right behind us. We were keeping on the inside, just following the slipstream. We went to the right-hand side before we hit the breaking point, and uh, defend our position now as a couple of cars ahead are just getting a little bit squirmy. They were just uh, trying to get the grips up. You can see that on the dashboard that the tires are still pretty cold. You want to get those up to about a 1.57 uh, liters. Of PSI so uh, we just want to get that up now as we almost made contact uh, with the Ferrari up ahead and uh, just had to take evasive action there so we had to move the car to the right to avoid uh, making contact with the uh, 12 car and as we head side by side into the final two corners uh, we just go single file as you don't really want to go side by side into these corners you just uh, you lose way too much time not really good passing zones more of a single uh, file couple of corners so we just decided to just back off and uh, we just ride right behind the 12 car so on to lap two here heading to the first corner once again uh, it's now starting to settle down a bit you're starting to see that the, the leaders are starting to pull away up in the front and uh, we were starting to build a little train here starting from about uh, I believe that was like p5 up ahead uh, apologize again that when I recorded this unfortunately just did not I uh, record correctly so I had to record this through the replay and unfortunately on the replay there is just no way to put up a HUD um, so we just had to do the getaway and you can see on the top left there is a lap counter but unfortunately there isn't a position counter but you just got to take my word for it this was uh, I believe we were fighting right here for P10 uh, or P yeah I believe the car in 12th place was for P9 or P10 as well so uh, we're just following along and um, like I said, next next iRacing video, we'll have we'll have a better um, video because I'll be able to actually record it with the HUD. I figured out what the issue was, so we shouldn't have this problem uh, occur in future videos. But anyways, going back to the racing, uh, we get out of the uh, couple of uh, hairpins there on the third sector, and really nothing has happened. We've just been riding right behind the 12 cars, just uh, making sure that we are minding our business here and just. Uh, putting in consistent laps that's the number one thing you want to do here on iRacing it's just not overdo it not over push the car you definitely want to stay with the guys up ahead but uh, you want to make sure you're within your limits if you just go a bit past the limits since there is damage on this game and the race is so short it's only a 15 minute race uh, you just you lose more than we can actually gain so if you end up losing you know a tenth a lap because you're just not able to keep up the pace it's actually better just to do that than just accidentally pushing too hard where you just end up spinning yourself out and you lose two three positions or worst of all you end up going straight into the barrier and that's basically race over as you just damage your car so it's a little bit different mentality that I have when I get into racing and I racing compared to GT Sport I'm able to learn a lot more patience on this game but uh, you still want to be aggressive when the opportunity arrives but so far for this race, I just have not been able to get in a position to go for an overtake. But you're going to see that things are going to change now as we head into the final sector. So into the final sector, you can see that there was a red car that made contact with the blue Ferrari up ahead. Or I guess you could say a purple. But uh, yeah, just it got a little bit squirmy and that just made a chain reaction. So you can see 
from behind right there, the uh, six car, the purple one, just took out the 18 car heading into the final corner. And due to that, it just jumbled everything up. As you can see, cars are going three wide, four wide down the straight, heading into turn number one. And uh, now everyone is starting to get a bit impatient there uh, due to the fact that one of the cars just got turned. And everyone was trying to just take advantage of the situation. Um, and it just jumbled everything up here. So now we gained another position. So we're up two, plus two. So, or actually, I apologize, plus three um, on this race. So we're doing all right. We attempted to go for an inside move on the 12 car, but just uh, the door got slammed on us, so we just had to back out, get onto the brakes a bit, uh, a bit more into the corner, and just back off of the move because we just did not want to run into the back of the 12 car. It would not have been uh, good on our situation, and that's not the way I wanted to overtake. So just back off. Just uh, We didn't have anybody really right behind us just due to the fact that it, it got turned and taken out so um we just had to focus up on the cars up ahead but as we head now into the third sector still getting a little bit of squirmy up ahead uh cars are still fighting for position as the purple car goes in for a lunge just accidentally outbreaks himself pushes out the black car so that's another position but then upon re-entrance just takes out the one of the red bull cars and we're gonna ride along with him right here it's the six car just dives in into the inside not sure what he was going for there and then when he just gets back into the track, unfortunately for this poor Red Bull, just had nowhere to go. Uh, he tried to turn all the way to the left-hand side to avoid making contact with the purple car. And he just takes out another opponent there. So he took out three drivers on this race. He took out the one Ferrari on the final corner. And then he took out the uh, black Ferrari, just parked it in front of him. Made a black Ferrari go straight into the gravel trap. And then, upon re entry just took out another Red Bull. So this guy's going all in for just taking cars out and just pushing people out of the way and uh it's a little bit scary on my end now because we are catching up to him he's only two cars ahead of us we might have to battle him for a position here and uh to be honest i really did not want to because i didn't want to be one of the victims for his crimes here he's just been taking people out left and right just no regards towards anybody else's safety of I me and we basically found the luis of iRacing and uh <laughs> Like I said, it's a little bit more scary on this game just due to the fact that you actually have damage and uh, the slightest amount of contact can easily disrupt your car and you just end up spinning out. So, uh, riding along here, we're halfway through the race, lap 6. We're just following along with the 12 car, just kind of keeping an eye on the 6 car, making sure that once he catches up to the next Red Bull car, he doesn't go for you know the, the 2 for 2 here. Try to take out both Red Bull cars in the race. And uh, I was just uh, mining... My business here is just making sure that uh, as long as we stay right behind the 12 car that we're able to just keep an eye on the 6 car make sure that um, he doesn't take anybody out here. And if he does, we just take evasive action or we're able to um, just slow ourselves down and not get involved in uh, the wreck that he might possibly make. So heading into the final two corners, going into the final one here, which is a little bit of time uh, compared to the... 12 car and he was actually able to make a little bit of a gap here as uh, we were just uh, maybe focusing a bit too much on the 6 car which is weren't hitting our marks as best as we could but as we head out of this right hander leading us into the second corner the 6 car goes a bit wide and touches the grass and that takes him out so we're riding along here he's in P9 he hits that grass and then he just ends up spinning out Head straight into the barrier and then it turns black. So what that means is that once he was spinning out, he just raged quit. I'm not sure if he control out deleted himself out of this race or if he just turned off the PC or just threw the controller or the wheel on the floor or something. But when he spun out, it turned black and that basically meant that he raged quit. So this guy goes into the race, takes out three drivers, takes himself out and then rages, rage quits before he even crashed into the barrier, which just blew my mind. I'm pretty sure he was just frustrated with the race, how it was panning out, especially because the fact that he had taken out three drivers. Uh, I know people on this, this is this is the top of the lobby, and I'm pretty sure people on this uh, lobby weren't here to take people out, but it just sometimes happens that way. I know I've been in a situation where I suddenly take out a couple guys when it, it just builds up on you, that frustration, because you, you know you took out one driver, you're trying to be aggressive, but you're not trying to take out people and you just accidentally take out another person. It's just it's the worst feeling ever. And uh, you just kind of want to stop playing 
or stop racing for the day. So that's probably what happened to him. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but still, at the end of the day, he took out three drivers and then just rage quit it after taking himself out. So, um, good riddance. We'll see you maybe on another race, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we have to focus here on the battle that we have going on with 12th. So, uh, we were able to catch up to him. I'm not sure what exactly happened. I'm not sure if he was overusing those tires or uh, if he was just gaining the pressure from us. But we were gaining on him tremendously. And now we're just taking little peaks on the inside. Just going for overtakes as he overshoots the corner. We break as late as we can. And now we go for the cutback. Side by side with him as we head into the right hander. Onto the final two corners. We get a really great run on the exit. And we are able to secure that P... Uh, I believe this is P9, P8. So if we go into the replay, we go into the outside, and uh, you can see that we get a really great run on him, and then we just try to outbreak him heading into the next corner, and it worked flawlessly, and we were able to now gain that position, and uh, we are now up into, I believe it just P8 here, so uh, great, 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 everything working out perfectly for us, so uh, as we uh, jump a little bit more forward, uh, we did not have anything else going on, we just kind of just ran away from the P12 car, but on the final lap here as we head into the third sector we get yellow flags and there's a red spin ferrari that almost came back onto the racing line that could have been very brutal on our end because it would have been all the wreck avoidances that we did all the overtakes that we did and uh, just to get taken out on the very final lap by spinning ferrari would not have been a plan as fernando alonso would say uh, for this race and uh, luckily, we were just able to shoot the gap onto the uh, outside. And coming off the final corner, I don't think anything else is going to happen bad to us unless we just run to some invisible wall. But crossing the start finish line, race is over. That is going to be P7 for us, I believe. Uh, it might be P8. You guys are probably better at the math than I am. <laughs> but um, either way, from where we started off at, I think it was a net gain of about seven positions. And I can't be more proud of that, especially because we were ranked 15th. Uh, for this race so uh yeah let me know what you guys thought about this race i know there was a lot of carnage a lot of craziness that happened here but uh, i again apologize that there was no hud and no telemetry on this race on the next iRacing video i promise there'll be uh, a better recording of it it was just this one the file got corrupted and this is the best i can do but anyways guys if you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button down below uh hit that subscribe button if you guys want to check out more uh content from me uh, we're also getting ready for the 24 hours of Daytona, so that should be happening in about two weeks as well with Team SV. And uh, if you guys really enjoyed the video, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.